Hi, everybody. I'm Chris Brinkley. It's time for the rodeo season preview. I'm with Coach John Luthie, the former Coach of the Year and also a team. 22nd year as head coach. First of all, it's been a long time. Yeah, praise God we're still here and uh, yeah. still able to do what we what we like to do and enjoy doing it, and they still pay us to do it, so yeah. praise God for that. And in rodeo terms, it's been a wonderful ride. Well, it's been good. You know, it's been good. It depends on who you ask. It's always been better, but uh, we're, we're very blessed and thankful. It's been... Uh, been a great great move for us absolutely now you were coach of the year and the 2014 men's team was the national champion team yeah, yeah that's a blessing you know we've taken a lot of really good teams out there to the college finals uh, it, and rodeos like any other sport things have to follow your way you got to draw the right stock and then you got to take advantage of it and um, we was really blessed that year the kids performed well and praise god we Come home with a national title. That was a that was a huge deal. You're one of the most humble coaches I know. So I'm going to talk about the team for just a second, okay. if that's okay. Uh, tradition of excellence. The men's team has made the college national finals rodeo 44 out of the last 45 years, 14 Ozark Region Championship in your tenure, and eight top 10 national finishes since 2005. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. pretty thankful. God's God's good to us. I'm thankful for that. Uh, and the thing that I find amazing is I have a chance with some of our other sports to travel all over the country. And, and you mentioned UT Martin. I mean, we're known out west almost as well as we are here. Well, yeah, you know, it's been in big heritage. And we've got a number of alumni that are doing real well in professional rodeo right now. Will Loomis is like fourth in the world in the PRCA and the steer wrestling. Mm -hmm. Going to go to the uh, NFR. Jeff Askey is uh, fifth in the bull riding. Going to go to the NFR in Vegas in December. Uh, Tyler Waltz is winning the IPRA bareback riding and got a current member, Chase Thrasher, right now that's uh, first or second in the calf roping in the IPRA. Wow. That's a pretty big deal. Yeah, word gets around quickly that yeah. they are part of UT Martin. Yeah, yeah, yeah and they, 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 you know, tell about kids about us and um, mm -hmm. give us uh, a good word, and that's been a blessing. So that, that's a big recruiting tool. Let's us. talk about this year's squad, uh, 58 student athletes, over 14 seniors or graduate students. Right, that's almost too many. <laughs> I didn't plan on that many. We had like eight or nine others that wanted to be on the team, and I just said, hey, we don't have room in the classroom. I didn't want to have to find an end of the classroom to have our team meetings in, and that's a big part of what we do. Mm -hmm. I said, we just don't have no more seats. And uh, so I told the team when they came to the first meeting, you know, look around, this thing's full, and uh, realize that uh, you better keep your Keep your attitude good and take care of business if you want to continue to be in here because we got people wanting to come and I'm thankful yeah. for that. It's a blessing, you know. I, I'm not saying that in any way. It's just a great school, great, great atmosphere, great booster club, great, uh, great opportunity, and and that does a lot to help us get kids. I'm and that makes it extremely that. competitive because it, even it they compete against each other too. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, it's a big deal just to. Uh, and some events just to be able to make the A team practice squad, so that's a, mm -hmm. that's a big deal, and it's 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 a blessing. And uh, we got uh, a group this year. We got probably as well rounded as a team as we've had in a long time. Uh, got uh, a lot of even goat tires and, and break. We've always had a lot of breakaway ropers, a lot of goat tires, and that mm -hmm. helps us. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a lot more rough stock riders than we've had in several years, uh, mainly horse riders. Uh, Quite a few got like I think uh, five bronc riders and six bareback riders, and those are really hard to find in any level of, of rodeo right now. So that's that's been a blessing, and you know uh, they're not just people that get on either. That there's some of them ride pretty dang good. Right. So I'm thankful for that. Let's talk about expectations and and the men's team, and then also the women's team for this season. Well, you know I, I think we got great opportunities. We keep people healthy and. Uh, I, I feel like we got to do our part, and then uh, the rest of it, God's in control of everything. We just got to do our part, and then if we if we can stay healthy, keep a good attitude, and do our part, you know, I think great things could happen on both teams, and probably as strong a girls' team as we've had in a long time, and that's a, it's a blessing too. Uh, we've always been strong in the barrel race, and and had you know one or two really strong in the goat town and breakaway rope. We, we're pretty deep, and I'm thankful for that. Got got some backup players that can be good if. Something does happen, so we'll see what happens and go from there. That's a ways off, but we always look forward to it. One of the best events on this campus or in West Tennessee is, is the rodeo that you host. And the 51st annual UT Martin Spring College Rodeo is set for April the 11th through the 13th. And it's been the Ozark Region Rodeo of the Year for 13 straight years now. Yeah, we're yeah. blessed. Uh, I don't know, that's, every year they've had an, uh, uh, a region of the year, a rodeo of the year in each region. We've been blessed to win it, but... Uh, you know, I, I'm sure that at some point, some point people 
uh, step up and, and be competitive for us. And there, there are some really good re rodeos in the region, too, besides ours. We're so blessed to have such good crowds and mm -hmm. such good backing. And, uh, you know, it's it just been huge. And that rodeo is, praise God, it's probably one of the best rodeos, college rodeos in the nation. So what separates it? it? I mean, the crowd sells out, and it's very uh, energetic. But what's the difference between our rodeo and other rodeos? I don't know. You know, just it, it runs off quick, there's never a dead moment, and mm -hmm. that's so important. Uh, we tell our kids, you know, they don't. we don't care how long it takes you to get ready, we just want you ready when it's your turn. Right. And, and you know, just, just having that something going on all the time. Great announcer, Garrett Yurigan's probably bar none, one of the best in the country. Uh, we always try to get a, a, a good funny man and, and someone mm -hmm. that interacts with the crowd, and that's, that's, that's huge. Uh, I, I, it's got a great tradition, too. And praise God, we had a lot of alumni come back last year that hadn't been here in forever, right. for the 50th. And they said they was going to come back because they really enjoyed it. And, you know, it's just, it's just uh, so many people, the booster club, the athletic department, uh, sports information. Um, I'd be probably leaving people out. But there's so many people that has such an active part in that happening, besides my wife. Mm, yeah, <laughs> and, yeah, and all the yeah. stuff she does on, on our Facebook page and Twitter and I, I don't even know what they're all called. Snapchat, all that <laughs> That's stuff. That's good, Coach. But you know, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. even know what they're all called. Yeah. But they, uh, she does a great job, and you know, Danelle and her put together our Snapchat a few years ago. Mm -hmm. And I don't, we had some ungodly number of Snapchats, but Garrett's yeah. real good at that too. And I'm thankful for that because that's that's pretty. Pretty for twenty five bucks. That was pretty good meeting. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> uh, Coach. You're actually competing this weekend in an event hosted by Pearl River Community College, and you'll be in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, tell sir. us about that. Well, it's a, it's a, it's not bad. It's a fun little drive. It's only about seven and a half hours, so it's not too bad. And straight south of us, uh, they have a nice little setup down there. It's a nice little indoor arena, mm -hmm. and uh, they'll have good stock. It'll be a good, good, good setup. Good, good situation and. Uh, I think we haven't had a lot of time to get ready, but at this point in time, the uh, the team members we have have all been going to rodeos all summer. If they're not ready by now, they never will be, mm -hmm. you know. And we told them, you know, well, we can show you in three or four days because you got to go through physicals, you got to go through the concussion test and all that stuff to get them cleared. And you know, Nelson with 58 kids and about made him lose all of his hair. <laughs> and you know, but he has other teams he's dealing with too. So it's it's just uh, a lot to do. And and but he did a good job getting them all cleared. We had our really first full scale practice last night, and uh, we'll have another one tonight. And then, good Lord willing, the weather's good, but and, and we'll have uh, we'll, we'll take off and go. But uh, I, I think we got a really good group, and you know, they come in, they're ready, and. Uh, we'll just see what happens. Okay, that's Coach John Luthie. For all the information you need to know about a rodeo team, go to utmsports.com. Thank you, Coach. Best of luck this hey, season. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm Chris Brinkley. Thanks for watching.